So today I want to talk about animations and storyboards and try to break it down into simple steps. Okay, for this demo I have uh, three text boxes. Let me run this and show you what I have so far. So three text boxes here. Um, we're going to be working with double animations um, with using different triggers. The first one is going to be a height animation, the second one is going to be a font size animation, and the uh, third one is going to be a uh, opacity animation. All right, so three text boxes so far. So the first one is going to be, we're going to be using event triggers uh, to create our animations. So I have the steps uh, commented up here. So step one, we're going to add the triggers, event triggers, and then begin storyboard and add the storyboard and animation. So five simple steps, okay? So I'm going to start with text block dot triggers to create our trigger collection. And you can have more than one trigger. That's why it's triggers, not trigger. And um, inside our triggers, we're going to add an event trigger and an, a routed event. We're going to use mouse enter. If this was a button, we'd probably use button click. But uh, since it's a text block, we're going to use mouse enter. Um, next, we are going to add our begin storyboard object. And we're going to associate our storyboard to the uh, begin storyboard object by saying open close storyboard inside begin storyboard. And within the storyboard, we're going to start our animation. So it's double animations. And from to, those are the properties, some of the properties. Actually, let's start with storyboard target property. Okay. So the storyboard target property, which property we are targeting. We are, in this first example, we are targeting the height, height property. So typing in height. And next we're going to say from. So up here we have the current height as 130. So we're going from 130. We're going to go down to I'm going to go down to a little over this font size, so I'm going to make it 50. Okay. And next, we need the duration. How long this is going to last? That's going to be 0 hours, 0 minute, and 1 second. Okay. So... Basically, we are ready to run this. Let's run it and see what we get. So if I move, if I call mouse enter here, my animation should start and end. Okay. And there's another property called auto reverse. What this does is when the animation ends, it goes back the opposite direction to original state. So it's going to increase the height back to 130 from 50. Okay, let's see that in action. So it went down, it didn't go back up. Let's see, did we do it right? Let's pre-build this. Uh, 
Okay. Let's run it again. Enter. Now it's working. Enter. And it's going back to original size. Okay, so that's animation using event triggers. Okay. Next we are going to do a property trigger. This one is going to have a couple extra st steps. And that's going to be... We're going to need to use, make use of styles in here. So we're going to start with... Uh, actually, let me just go over the steps. First, we need to add a style to the element. Next, we need to set the... Uh, we need to add an actual style tag and with the target type and then add triggers to the style and then we need a enter actions trigger dot enter actions object and from there it's same okay so let's start with uh, text block dot style open close add a style to it and set our target type in our case again it's going to be a text blocks x type text block close and inside the style we need style dot triggers and if you remember, the property trigger is just a trigger tag and set the property. We need, we need to use is mouse over. So that's the property we're going to use. And when the value is true, then we're going to add our trigger dot interactions. Oops, interactions and begin storyboard. Again, from here on, it's same. So storyboard. Open close double animation let me bring this down a little bit okay again storyboard target property this is going to be this time the font size and we need to make sure we type it correctly otherwise it won't work so this time we're going to, the current font size is 40. We want to go back to 20, up here it's 40. So we want to go from 40. Technically you don't have to use the 40, but uh, the from, but I'm using just to make it uh, simple or so everybody can understand it. From 40, we're going down to 20. Uh, let's go to 16. And duration is going to be one second, one zero, column zero, column one. And we want auto reverse to be true. So when the animation ends, it reverts back to its original state. Okay, let's build and run again. So the first one, it's working. Second one, it's working perfectly. Excellent. Okay, as our last example, we are going to use um data triggers uh, the logic the uh, flow is same as property triggers using styles and interactions 
uh, instead of trigger, we're using data trigger. So that's the difference between the two. So text blocks dot style. Style target type X type text block. Okay, style dot triggers data trigger. Yeah, you probably remember this from other videos. So um, it's going to be a binding. This time we're going to bind to ourselves, to the text block itself. We have a name here, T3 for the name. So it's going to be bind to element name, T3. And the pet is going to be is Mars over. Okay, and if the value is true, then we want to set the data trigger that enter actions and begin storyboard. Again, once again, inside our begin storyboard tags object, we are going to add our storyboard and start the animation. So double animation, storyboard target type, I mean target property is going to be opacity. Uh, we are going from one to 0 0.1 and the duration is going to be one second again you can increase decrease based on your needs and uh, auto reverse it's going to be true uh, for this one I additionally want to use something called repeat behavior and I want to set this to forever what this does is it's going to repeat the animation on and on and on until we close the application so let's rebuild this And run it okay so first one second one and third one so the third one started and it keeps going that's going to keep going on until we close this or if you have um, exit actions here you can set the storyboard instead of enter actions exit action actions to manually stop it with a button or something but um, so yeah that's it for now i'll see you guys in the next one all right thanks for tuning in bye bye now